Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Hope you find the video useful and helpful in your designing process. If you're a return viewer and subscriber, thank you very much. And thanks for all the support. And if you have not hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and tap on that. Uh, really help me out. Uh, so we'll just, today we're going to do a little surface modeling. So I'm going to show you a little, uh, we're just going to make like a little heart design thing. Uh, and uh, maybe a little uh, so you can put it on your uh, surfaces or uh, objects on curve or whatever for undercarriage work or whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to grab a free form here and uh, change it to yellow, of course. And I'm just going to draw uh, kind of a, a line out here, something like that. And then I'm going to turn on my. Uh, kind of mess around with it a little bit, kind of get it in the shape I kind of want. A little bit. Yeah, I like it there. That's okay. All right, so we'll go with something like this. and We'll just hit uh, enter and then get rid of our control points. And right away, I'm just going to go ahead and rebuild it. And we'll leave it at degree 5, and we'll just take it to a 6. Degree 5 needs 6 points, uh, so we'll hit uh, OK. So we have our little curve. Let's go ahead and turn our points again. Uh, this one right here, I kind of want to move this down a little bit, maybe a little bit more. Something like that there. I like that it uh, kind of dips in there. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that's a little bit better. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to offset the curve. Uh, so we'll go to offset and we'll just click on both sides and uh, both sides down here. Uh, through point both sides and we'll just go ahead and click on that. And now, uh, real quick, uh, this is not what we're going to do but it'll be very uh, good for for understanding. So we're just going to take these curves and we're going to extrude them up a little bit. Oh, Nope, we're going to take these curves and we're going to copy them. So I'm holding down Alt and just dragging them up and I'm going to take this one and uh, just drag it up a little bit higher. Uh, and then we'll come back to this. Uh, but the reason there's a reason why I'm going to this is kind of wasteful, but it, it'll be good for uh, uh, understanding. So we're just going to go to loft, and we're just going to go ahead and uh, loft all these, and I'll put it on my green layer and hit enter, uh, and then hit uh, reclick, bring back loft, curve, curve. Maybe I don't have to do it all, but. Uh, Maybe we don't have to do these. I think you can see just from these lines here. See our surface is just really kind of all jacked up, right? Uh, so this is a really bad surface. Uh, so what we're going to do is get rid of these surfaces and then we're going to select all our curves, all three of them. Type in, um, whoa, what is it again? Uh, oh, rebuild. Not curve non-uniform. So our curves right now are not uniform. So we want to make them uniform. So rebuild non-uniform. Okay, and it gives us these points out here. If you can see them, uh, let's go here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so these lines right here, right, and that's where our kind of surface was all jacking up at. So what we want to do is we want to go in here and move these uh, lines. Uh, these dots here. We'll keep the one in the center as close as it can and then just kind of line these others up. Let's go to our top viewport so we can see better. Uh, and we want to just click on this point and just kind of make it straight across, right? Uh, and same thing here. We'll just click on this one, kind of bring it up here, and click on this one, bring it down so that it's kind of straight across. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing with this one. And we'll kind of go here and here, okay. Uh, the reason why we do this, we get a much better surface. Uh, you'll see here in a second. Uh, so we'll go ahead and accept that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select those and then draw them up, holding down Alt. So I'll make a dupe of those. 
uh, somewhere around there maybe and then I'm just going to grab that one and drag it up a little bit higher and we'll, man we'll manipulate that one here in a little bit more uh, but uh, now uh, real quick if I go to loft and I loft from here to here uh, and hit OK you can see that the surface is is much better well I can't see it in there but you can see the lines uh, the lines of the surface are much better and if I yeah much much better right they're not all angled up or whatever so that's that's kind of what we want so we'll just go ahead and continue loft here for here and here enter enter and go work our way around the entire all the curves and before I uh, do the top one here we're just going to go ahead and do some point manipulation just to give us a little bit uh, different surface so let's see uh, we'll uh, oh, drag uh, let's see we'll drag uh, this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, that one, and that one, and we'll drag them up just a little, then I'll go through and select this, click off them, and then select this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, that one, drag it up a little bit more so we get a little curvature going on and then I'll drag click all these three that one and that one drag him up a little bit more and then I'll select this one here and drag him up a little bit more like that so we have a little curvature going on and it comes way down here let's drag this one up a little something like that and actually let's go ahead and drag him up too kind of get the shape you want it doesn't you know I'm just gonna go real quick so uh, something like that and then what we'll do is we'll go back to our loft and go ahead and click on that one that one hit enter okay and then click on this one here and this one here and hit enter and we okay so let's take a look at our surface but you can see it's a it's a much better surface this uh, surface is all lined up there we got something going on here. What's this? Let's get rid of that. Let's do that surface again. Uh, loft. This one here. This one. Hit enter. Yeah. This curve here. This curve here. Enter. Okay, there we go something happened there I must have hit the wrong curve so we have uh, our little curve out there right uh, now what we can do is we can go ahead into uh, our edit tools and uh, merge our surfaces so I'll take all our yellow real quick uh, click off that click our yellow turn it to gray and turn it off okay we just want our surfaces and now we'll just go to uh, merge a uh, pair of surfaces to merge. We'll take this surface and this surface and hit OK. We'll take uh, this surface and this surface and hit OK. And what it does is it gives us a little rounded edge there. Uh, and for that one we'll go ahead and I think it's match. Well, match. Match surface. We don't want to we want to match this edge to that edge and we'll hit position yes we don't want to lose that sharpness so we'll just hit OK and then we'll hit uh, go back and do merge these surfaces here with this one and this surface here with these here so we should have pretty much let's, let's go ahead and merge those now match them this with this one okay I lost my curve darn it <laughs> uh, yeah but that's okay because uh, we could always turn them back on turn it on turn our points on and we can continue to manipu well manipulate but not really because we don't need to let's turn off gray 
because what we can do since it's a uh, NURB surface since we didn't uh, make it into a poly surface if I type in what uh, it, it's a NURB surface so what we can do with NURBs is turn on points and now if you wanted to you could uh, let's see if I go to uh, options click on options hmm? options O P T I O N S options go to toolbar scroll down to select points I think it is yeah and then hit OK uh, now I can select points so if I pick this one here and I go to wrong one if I pick this one here and I go to uh, V direction it'll pick all those points right there right so now I can just drag them all up and make it that a little bit more edgy alright so there we go nice little surface and you can sit there and play around with that you can just uh, you can well anyway I'll just this is another day uh, but that's uh, real quick you can uh, manipulate your points uh, so we have this surface here and what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and uh, close it off here yeah there's our seam right there that's our uh, seam point it's the darker line right everything else is all matched up yeah all right, so what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and close these ends off, right? So we'll just go ahead and select this point, and then we'll hurt verts, right? So it selects all those around in that edge real quick. I don't have to do a lot of manipulation there. Uh, and then I can just click here, leaving my point snap on, and hold down a shift and then bring it in and it snaps it right to a point closes that end off and then I can do the same thing here I can grab this point here I can go to my uh, U direction and I got all those points and I can just kinda drag that out a little bit make it a little bit flatter right so I have something like that and from here what I can do is we'll just go ahead and uh, turn off those points then I'll go ahead and CAP cap it so now we have a closed poly surface okay <coughs> so from here sorry what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab another uh, planar curve and I'm just going to grab a planar curve and put it out there uh, and then from here I'm just going to take my surface I'm going to go ahead and uh, split my surface with this here and hit enter and I'll get rid of that and we'll get rid of that and get rid of that and we'll take this and we will mirror it over to the other side and we'll take that and that and join them together so now we have closed poly surface and there's a little heart uh, you can manipulate it a little bit give it a little bit better uh, shape if you want uh, and then you can just save this to your library or whatever and uh, use it for uh, curve online real quick right uh, let's take that go to my transform menu go to scale 3d from f4 and just kind of take it down a little bit and so I have that gives a nice little shape and then I can take it make sure I don't have anything else in my viewport no lines or anything and then I can go to uh, my menu up here go to save as find my uh, matrix uh, gold this it's in my documents matrix gold library object object on curve and go down here and type in H-E-A-R-T and I'll type a 01 because I already have one uh, and then hit enter so save it and now if I want to put it into my go, go to my line go to my uh, solids on curve click on my library heart 01 right there 
hit enter and there's my heart orientation spacing where is it I want it orientation down so it goes to the Z direction is it down there we go okay Oh, see, I had my lines out there, so it automatically put my lines in. See, that's that's good. Uh, so we don't want that. So we'll have to resave it. I have my lines saved. Oh, right there. Yeah. So I need to go ahead and get rid of them. So make sure you, you can't really have anything out there. It's got to be by itself. Everything's turned off. Yeah. Okay. So now let's go back and save it again. Uh, save as. Uh, hard O one. Hit o save, yes I do. And then when I draw the line, and click on my line, go to solids, object on curve, go to my library, heart 01, select, go to uh, position, orientation down, and there you go, there you have them. That you can put them on an undercarriage, you can uh, do a full long kite on a surface, and uh, they're all laid out there for you to be able to manipulate however you see fit. And hit enter. There you go. Pretty easy way, but you need to do the uh, rebuild non uh, uh, curve or cur rebuild curve non uniform in order to make sure that your surface is a decent surface. So uh, hope that helps. Just another object that you can uh, flow out there, or if you do like scroll work or something, you and you uh, offset your curves. Uh, you you want to make sure that you go back and do that curve non uh, rebuild curve non uniform in order to get that surface to be uh, a decent surface. And you can tell it's it's all lined up. That they're not going at angles or anything. That's, the, that's really what the lesson is or what I'm trying to show today. Uh, it's just a way to get a much, much better surface. Now if you're wanting to do anything with this, like flow stones on it or anything like that, you have a surface where uh, it's going to give you a, a, a good uh, detail. All right, so I hope that helps. If it did, please, please hit that subscribe button and uh, leave me a comment. Thanks very much for watching and good designing.